Hey guys, welcome to the third episode of Gaming Fun. Today I will be reviewing Bioshock for the Xbox 360. As some of you guys know, I really, really love this game. It's one of the best games I've ever played. So when you start off, you get to play a man named Jack. He's the main character. I don't want to say too much about the game because I don't want to spoil it for anyone who hasn't played it yet. So basically, Jack gets special powers and he can shock, freeze, burn, summon wasps to attack enemies. He can pretty much do a lot of things. And this is all accomplished by using plasmids and these alter his genes. You can also get a lot of weapons, including a wrench, a pistol, a machine gun, a shotgun, and a grenade launcher. The wrench is actually the first weapon that you get besides your fists. Um, the wrench you have to find in the beginning of the game. And then the pistol and machine gun, like a bunch of these weapons you can get from enemies. Depending on the enemy you are fighting, you might also have different ammo for your weapons. So there are a lot of things you can use in this game to your advantage. You can also incorporate items surrounding you as weapons as well. By using telekinesis, you can throw a heavy item to knock an enemy off its feet. In this game, you will see that there are a lot of robots roaming around, and this is the security system of Rapture, and you can hack the robots to get them to fight on your side. Scattered around Rapture are shops where you can buy ammo and first aid kits. These are actually vending machines. The money that you can use in this game can be obtained from enemies that you kill, and you can also get ammo and, and first aid kits from the enemies, and of course weapons. It would be wise to visit the vending machines often to buy, uh, to buy um, your first aid kits and ammo and stuff because you might encounter a big daddy and you really really want to be prepared when you do that. A big daddy is pretty much a genetically engineered or enhanced human being who is ridiculously strong. They protect these little girls called little sisters. I know it sounds all weird right now, but they fit into the story and everything will make sense when you play it. Now, you can play this game on easy if you want to play it for the story, but for those who want more of a, a, more of a challenge, you can play a more difficult level. So this is all for this episode, and I, I really highly recommend you play this game. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.